Today I want to talk about this Competition Electronics Digital Link. And what this is is a little box that straps onto the side of my Competition Electronics uh, Pro Chrono Digital Chronograph. This is a common chronograph. Lots of people have this. And this little device here adds Bluetooth capability to the chronograph. This cost, uh, I think it was about 50 bucks. I think I, they're 50, 55 dollars. I've had this now for about six months. Have been using it without issue. It has worked uh, great for me. Takes three AAA batteries. I've used this quite a bit, and I've never had to change these batteries. They've lasted uh, quite a while. Comes with a little uh, Velcro strap. Just straps onto the side of the chronograph, and then the uh, the cord here plugs into the little data port, and that's it. I don't know what the exact range of this is, but uh, I've never been out of range with my phone. Now this connects to a, an app they have for Android and for uh, iPhone. You can run it on your iPad. I've always run it on my Android cell phone, and I set this up a while ago to, uh, to connect to the phone. And now all I have to do. I turn on the Bluetooth, I turn on the chronograph, and this is the app that's already open. You saw that red bar go away at the bottom there. I know it's connected. And this little green light also lets me know it's connected. Turn that off. Lost connection, turn it back on. it's connected. Now hopefully you'll be able to see this on your screen. To set up a new record you can add this little or touch this little plus button. You can name the shot list so for instance this morning I'm gonna go shoot um, the 1911 for the first time. And I've set up various loads with Unique and with e, uh, Lion E3 and so you can name this whatever you want. I'm gonna call this 45 ACP six grains unique. You can add any notes you want in here. You can put the uh, the location if you wanted to, you could put the firearm that you're using, you could put a reminder to put more bacon under your uh, grocery shopping list, whatever you want there in the notes. The temperature here, you can put that in yourself or the pressure. Uh, if you want, you can have the phone pull it from your current location. You put here for each of these, whether you want it in um, feet per second or meters per second, and then if you want, you can put the bullet weight in. If you add the bullet weight, it'll calculate the power factor for each shot for the those folks that are interested in the power factor. And hit save. And then you can start shooting. Now one of the nice things about this is even if you've already shot this, you have records uh, in there. You can hit this little button right down here and duplicate it. It'll come up with a thing that'll let you know that it will copy all of the information over as far as the, the name of the shot list and the bullet weight and everything else but it won't pull it won't duplicate the uh, results so I hit duplicate all of that info is in there all I have to do for my new load is change that to 6.3 grains and hit save I hit duplicate again change it to 6.6 .6 grains and finally for my last load of unique I'm using 7.5 grains and now I'm going to put in the loads for E3 
the first load for E3 was 4.5 grains and those were 0.2 grain increments so the next one was uh, 4.7 And the last one was 5.5. All right, now if we look at our, our uh, shot list, you can see here I have each of the records for each of the loads for 45 auto. Anywhere from 6 grains up to 7.5 with unique, and then anywhere from 4.5 to 5.5 with E3. So now when I go out to range and shoot, as, as soon as I'm going to sh start shooting that screen, I just select this record, start shooting, and it records it there. And then when I move to the next load, I'll just go back to the shot list, pick the one that I'm shooting, and uh, start shooting again. So at this point, let's head out to the range, and I'll show you that a, a time or two. So I just shot... Nine, uh, 5.1 grains of E3 on my 45. Now I want to go to 5.3 grains. Easy as that. 5.3 grains of E3. Alright, that 5.3 grains of E3. If I hit this little button here, that'll pull up the chart. It shows that, uh, I never use this chart. I think this shows each of the shots, their velocities. I think that orange bar is everything within the standard deviation. And then that red line is the average. This little chart button here. We can see that uh, there were eight shots in that string. They averaged 960 feet per second, extreme spread of 43, and a standard deviation of 12. If I hit this little share button here, I can uh, send a text summary, a CSV file, which can be opened in a spreadsheet application or a full summary. And uh, if I do that, I can configure what all gets sent. Um, I can save it to the phone or I can share it and that'll let me share it through email or a few other options. I can also hit the share from here and pick uh, any of these that I want and share multiple results all at the same time. Now the info that this thing sends to the phone, uh, it, it, it's independent. So the shot info that's stored on the device and the shot info that's stored on the phone or your tablet if you prefer are not, uh, are not actually connected meaning this little box here doesn't sync information back and forth it just takes the information that uh, this registers and it sends it to your phone so you can delete strings from this box and your phone will still store it you can delete it from the phone and the strings can still be stored on here the two are independent this just transmits the shot by shot information to the phone or the tablet again about fifty dollars adds bluetooth capability to the chronograph and I have had zero issue with it. It has worked great for me. Happy to answer any questions you've got, but uh, if not, I think that's it for today. Thanks for watching, and God bless.